Hey guys, it's Sylvan here from Android Everything, and today I'm going to show you a couple of the features I found pretty useful in the new Photoshop CS6 that just came out yesterday. Um, so here are a bunch of them right here. Um, everything highlighted is brand new. Um, The new render tools with the lighting effects, the iris blur, and the tilt to shift is really cool. Always gotta love with liquify. Um, new panels. Preview screens. Languages. Color lookup is really cool, so you can match the color you have. All the stock um, adjustments. New analysis. Brand new paste. New warp tool, presets, and preferences. You'll notice that it's nice and dark how it is, or how it's nice and dark versus how it wasn't nice and light before. You can change it around with those. Have the new mini bridge set up. It's real fluid when you switch to those. This is really cool right here. It's a new timeline where you add a bunch of pictures and you can add audio and then make a nice little slideshow for you. There's bunches of new pictures that just came out. Um, a couple of them are the stock ones, uh, but they added so many of them. They're all there too. Of course, you have all your stock adjustments. And where you can change the colors of the images.
course you still have all the stock things that you always had in all the other photoshops. The new blur is really cool. They added the new iris blur um, that you'll get pretty uh, weird faded shots like you get on a DSLR. And that you'll see in some of the new um, mobile phone apps that people always try to set as their Facebook pictures and stuff. How they, it's a little blurry and stuff. You can have it really blurry or bring it all the way back down to barely any blur around the edges. Right there look pretty good to me. We get this new lens correction thing where if your picture is a little off center like this, you can go and try to correct it. It's pretty tricky. It took me a couple times to try to get it right. But say your picture wasn't level, you can level it out right here like this. You also get this weird fish type of thing. Which gets pretty crazy. So my mouse is pretty sensitive. But that looks good to me. Next one's for mapping. And of course it will. I like how they added this new uh, 3D interface to it. Um, it looks really good for mapping out and everything. And of course you have all your stock brushes and erasers and backgrounders. And that's pretty much it. You can download the beta on Photoshop's or Adobe's website. Um, you can download it on your Mac or your PC. Um, I had it set to the uh, new features, and this is the essentials, uh, which you which you would be on the regular one. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, please go above and subscribe, and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys soon. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, new software, and it should be coming out pretty soon for about $700, um, but you can download the beta and you can try it for a little while, um, so I'll see you guys soon.